and the sweltering temperatures are prompting dozens of complaints to the Marion County Health Department about broken air conditioning. Health inspectors say they are holding landlords accountable when it comes to your health and safety. RTV6's Kara Kinney is working for you tonight to find out what action they're really taking and what your rights are as a renter. Kara? That's right, Erica. Even though it's six o'clock in the evening, it's still pretty hot out here. According to our unscientific uh, thermometer here, it's still in the 80s, as you can see. Well, when temperatures reach the 80s and 90s, that's when tenants start to complain to the health department about not having any air conditioning. For Michelle Fields, staying cool in this brutal summer weather is tough. Very stressful. I try to get away from here. Her air conditioning unit is broken cools off somewhat at night, but during the day, I'm sitting in there in my bra and my panties. All day, walk around all day just like that. Michelle's neighbor called the health department who came out June 8th to inspect. The health department issued this order to the property owner showing a violation for a broken air conditioner. Call 6 investigates found since May 1st, the health department has issued 129 orders for air conditioning violations, 31 considered an emergency, 98 considered a non-emergency. The health department says they typically give landlords between 24 hours and 30 days, depending on the urgency of the situation. If there's elderly, young children, or people with medical issues in the home, that will require a quicker fix. Sometimes they just don't know. And so when we call them and tell them, they're like, well, we're working on it or we need a part or um, we weren't even made aware of it. Oftentimes, a health department order will do the trick. Like this rental house on the east side, when we checked, the tenant told us the landlord fixed the AC after the health department got involved. The health department emphasizes you have a right to a clean, safe place to live and more. If they have air conditioning in their unit when they sign their lease, then we can issue an order for that air conditioning. Um, but they would certainly want to talk to their landlord first because they're the ones who have to fix it. We can't do the fix. All we can do is the enforcement to have it fixed. As for Michelle Field's unit, the health department gave Preston Point until June 11 to fix the air conditioning. We spoke with a property manager who says they were waiting on a part but are fixing the problem right now. They also found this window unit for Michelle to keep her cool in the meantime. And what do you want to see done? I just want them to get it fixed. In digging through this stack of violations, we found many of the property owners are located out of state, some as far away as Hawaii. The health department says that can make communication difficult. We're live downtown. I'm Call 6 Investigates, Kara Kenny.